Folks, welcome to Space Talk. I'm your host Rifat Bari, AI researcher at the Morales Lab, and today we have our other contestant, Soborno. Did you just call me a contestant? Yes, Professor and Mayor Soborno Isaac Barry. So, in every episode of Space Talk, we're gonna discuss something about space. So, for example, in this episode, we're gonna talk about James Webb Space Telescope's Whoa. launch. James Webb Space Telescope has been the NASA's flagship telescope for the last 30 years. For the last 30 years, James Webb has been under development for $10 billion and it has just recently launched on Christmas Day, December 25, 2020. And so here we are to 2021, talk about- 2021, you mean? 21. So here we are to talk about James Webb, how it launched, why it went to the location it went, and what discoveries it's gonna make. So first, let's start off with our uh, guest. Can you please summarize what James Webb is and uh, what it's gonna do? First, you didn't even let me introduce myself. Hello everybody, my name is Professor Tamora Isaac Berry. I am also the mayor of Little Bangladesh. I am the Da Vinci Laureate. I have given speeches at a multiple uh, colleges and universities, including Harvard University and Ramna Wainwaya College where I gave an entire physics lecture. And that's it. Thank you. So, what is the James Webb Space Telescope? The James Webb Space Telescope is a massive telescope about the same size as a tennis court that will look, that will observe radio and EM waves that, uh, I meant electromagnetic waves yeah. that come, uh, that have been emitted from stars long ago, but they are just reaching us now because the speed of electromagnetic waves is obviously finite. Okay. Wow, that's a great summary. So let's start off. You cut with, me off. Let's start off with the first question. Okay, L we know that Hubble uh, launched around 1995. Uh, the space shuttle put it into orbit around the Earth, and so you Hubble don't even is, know that. Hubble is okay. orbiting the Earth and it's making observations every day. Um, and so James Webb just launched on December 25, and Hubble brought us these amazing images of galaxies, nebulas, star clusters. What will James Webb bring us? How does James Webb compare to Hubble's power? Well, Hubble was only observing in the visible light spectrum. So it was observing very thin wavelengths. But now, um, James Webb, or JWST, will be observing from 0 0.6 nanometers, which was previously the limit for the Hubble, all the way up to 25 or 27 nanometers, using its special tools, NERCAM and NERSPEC. And so, okay. these tools are much more powerful than Hubble, and they will be observing EM waves coming from distant stars. And these EM waves were emitted very long ago. They just got to us now or at least gotten to the James Webb Space Telescope but, now. 